Hello and welcome to the third video of the Terraform series. So today I will be de demonstrating about how to how to make Terraform read AWS credential file. So the problem I have told you right in the last video if you do, if you have didn't watch my vi previous video just go through that so that you will come to know what we are here trying to achieve. So here you can see in the provider section i have given this access key and secret key right here so this is as a beginner we have done that is okay but uh, going forward we can't do that because see this uh, access key and uh, secret key we have generated and provided this our full administrator access right so today we will hide this into our local system and instead of this access key and secret key we will use something like profile and in the profile section only we will uh, keep our access key and secret key so let's do how to achieve it let's go and achieve it. so here are the here are the three steps we are going to perform so what are the three steps first you have to download the aws cli on your local system then you have to install and then you have to configure so here we have to run some command and the command will ask us for the, our AWS access key and secret key as well. So let's go to the Chrome browser and let's try to download this. Let's search for AWS CLI download the search and wait. So once you will get, just click on that AWS command line interface. Along with that, you have to write wait for Windows 10, right? We are not going for uh, Linux. Just click on that. Just wait for some time. So once you will come here, you can see if you will scroll down here, you can see you have a section of Windows, right? So if you will scroll down here, so see this command you have to run on your local system, okay? So let me copy this. Let me open my CMD. Okay, so this is open. Let's copy and paste the command. Okay, so you can see here it is started and it is preparing to install. So just wait for some time until it's installed. It's still downloading so no need to worry I will put this link into the description so that you can download it as well and try so let's wait so once it's downloaded just click just wait for some time please wait while the setup is prepared. so once you will install you just have to verify either it is done or not just copy this AWS version command and just search for CMD and run it as administrator once you have done, once it will open, just click on yes. Okay, so here you have to AWS version, just click hit enter. So you can see, right, this is my version. This is the AWS CLI version I am using currently. So the second step is done. So what is our third step? Let's go to the step now we have to configure okay so we have to configure by running some commands like you have to just run a simple command aws configure and hit enter you can see the command aws configure and let's let's wait for some time until it it will ask us for the access key and id so it will store in the into the local file I will show you the path of the file also. Let's wait. Since it is taking too much time, I'm running the command again. AWS configure. Just hit enter. So you can see it is popping up for AWS access key. So wherever you have copied. So how to get this? If you have, if you don't know, just watch my uh, recent video in the same playlist. So I have just kept it safe in this. So this is my access key, enter, and this is my secret key. 
provide these two things here you sit in the default reason if you want to provide that is fine so what will be your default reason anything you can select based on your convenience so I'm using this always so I'm providing this and only output format how do you want I'm giving JSON so you, will, you have to just hit enter so once this is done so from here, there we will get this file so you will get this file into your C drive okay let me go through that and show you I have clicked on I am in C just go for users just go for your username and here you have to search for this .aws file okay so just click on that inside that you can see you are getting two files this is your config file and this is your credential file so let's edit this okay open with notepad so you can see your credential has been saved here okay so here you have to provide a so I think this is my previous so let me delete that okay as I have already performed one operation the same operation so it is showing provide here my AWS here this is my profile name okay the same profile name I will use in my code now instead of writing this secrets okay so I have done this my AWS remember this name you can go to config open this as a notepad and you can see here it is already here my previous existing one I'm deleting and I left with my the recent one I have given the same name here okay us is 2 once this is done let's go back to our code and here you can see I'm deleting this too okay and what you have to write here you have to mention your profile equals to whatever the name of the profile you gave in your credential and config file this was the name right so once this is done once this is done okay so let me destroy this and let me come back to you so how to destroy the uh, existing in front yes. wait until it's delete so it will again pop up here for your permission just hit enter so do you know how it is getting deleted if even if we have done here some changes so see terraform once you will uh, do plan in terraform it will create one tf state file as well so that will do uh, that will do a store your terraform state state means current uh, your actual state and your desired state like see what is my desired state uh, like what is my actual state right now like i have just created this issue to instance launched so that information will be stored inside the tf state file and if you will start integrating along with the ec2 instance if i want to delete a disk so see so terraform will compare now with the our desired actual state actual state is what as i have told this uh, vm only right this is present in the uh, AWS portal right but along with that I will integrate some more things so that will be a desired state means in this actual state you have to add some more things so the Terraform will know this is a uh, extra thing which I am asking for okay so see it deleted right so all the information related to the state where we are currently like you have destroyed this also has been stored in the Terraform TF state file right so let's test our code now by data for a minute again right uh, now we are using this profile right we have done all the settings configuration for that let's hit enter and let's see okay so you can see here reusing previous version okay so let's do one thing let's plan okay so here you can see right 
plan is working fine correct with your this let's do one thing let's delete the previous tf state file which it has created okay so we will start this as uh, from scratch right so let's go to the file where you have created let me go to that so here you can see uh, data form has created this tf state file along with that this along with that this so for that you have to close your vs code otherwise this will not let you delete these all files because it is opened in some editor so let's keep safe your main.tf now i am deleting this once it is deleted let's go back and again launch your vs code so once you are here just do your first command what is that wait a minute let's wait so until any is running let's go to our portal with our resource which we have created and destroyed last time it is there or not so you can see here right the instance has been terminated and one i have already my existing okay so this one we have destroyed right just before so let's go and watch data form is still initializing it's right so see it is done data form has been successfully initialized let's go for next step after running it what you have to do you have to do plan let's wait so this time we are running plan with this credential right and we have deleted all the previous state files right so see it is working perfect okay you can see here when resource it has to add okay let me do what what is the last command data form apply and here if you don't want to make it pop up like it, like it is asking for a yes or no which is to right here auto hard auto approve and hit enter let's have a look to the command let's wait so see you can see i have done the auto approve so this time it is not asking me for uh, the confirmation either do i want do i want to uh, go with the execution or not so you can see it started creating the instance let's go and refresh once again so you can see here i think it's done let's go back okay so it is it is still creating you can see when the vm is pending here it is coming up okay let's wait a moment okay so it started you can see here okay let's go back to the portal and it should see the state of of this vm is now running okay so like this you can hide your credential into your uh, uh, credential file into your local so that uh, this is a uh, this is a best practice okay okay and once okay our task is done so let me delete this so what is the command terraform destroy and here it will ask you for your apply and uh, plan Uh, your apply and destroy will ask you for your approval always. Okay. If and if and auto if and approve and you just hit enter. Let's say. So see here it is showing refreshing state right so it means it is going to the tf state file and checking the configuration what is the actual state 
And what is our desire right now? Our desire is to destroy all the infrastructure which we have deployed right now. So you can see it is getting deleted. One to one to destroy. So okay, so it started destroying it. This doesn't ask me this time to approve whether do I want to uh, delete the infra or not because I have already approved it, right? Let's wait till it describes. Okay, so it's done, right? One resource, one resource destroyed. Correct. Let's go back to our portal and let's have a look. This is the running one. It, its ID is 8A and the last. Let's replace and see. The 8A has been terminated. Okay. So thanks for watching. In the, in the next video, we will watch how can we variableize uh, these all things you can see here in the code we are. So this is what uh, this is a Terraform is basically popular for reusability, right? So like this user will pass here in information. No user don't know, right? Your client don't know where to pass what value. So you will do what you will minim minimize the task and you will create a variable file and you will put all the information. So we will see this in the next video. Thanks for watching.